Hey y'all and welcome back to another video about Umbra's Darkness. In today's video, I want to show you guys the hatching trick for the Special Alliance CA day. Uh, I know it's a little bit late, You got, not everyone's going to see it uh, in time. They're already going to have hatched, they're already going to know it, or have done things. But it'll help you in future weeks. Before we do that, I want to hatch 20 eggs on uh, Naya Cupcake. Uh, so we are on Naya Cupcake's account real, real quick. And I just want to hatch 20 eggs, uh, see what we pull. Remember, this account's missing a lot uh, after what happened. So I'm just hoping for good dupes, honestly. Like a Reap Master would be insane. So. Flathead. Black Shield, Black Shield, this is our guarantee, Gold Armor, that's poopy, we already have it at 2 star, can we get one more before the guarantee, usually on hatch day, when I'm hatching a bunch of orange eggs, not doing like this single free every day, I get like 2 and 20, and it just seems to be... No love this time. We will get one more guarantee, but I won't record that one. Unfortunate. Um, you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to show you guys that I hatch just the way you guys do. Uh, it's not the most efficient way uh, to hatch. The most efficient way to hatch is to hatch in between 17 and 18 gold eggs. And then go out and do... Uh, insects to get those get the points for hunting insects and everything inside of a CA. This is to optimize like a CA, right? So in order to uh, get the experience, right? So this would be gaining experience here. Uh, that would help you in the CA, and then it would be in hunting insects and gaining experience here. So that that's the most optimal way to do it. But I'm not here for I just like hatching eggs, right? So, I was given permission to do 20. Uh, I believe that was 20, so... Which is exactly... In case you guys wonder why 20. Um, if you look at the 4 mil mark, and then you look at how many you get for a tertiary egg, it's exactly 20 needed in order to get uh, max loot at level 25. So, anyways... Without any further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Over on my main account, we're not going to be hatching for fun. Uh, the way, what we're going to do is we're going to talk through the hatching trick. So the hatching trick and the spore trick uh, is relatively simple. There's a million different ways to do it. It depends on who you talk to, right? Um, this is how I do it personally. So before we do that, let me get in. Uh, no, I already popped an advanced raspberry, right? So I'm going to pop an advanced raspberry. I'm going to go into the special ant CA. Uh, because it's the first CA of the day, I have all of these blue and green ants and purple <coughs> from all the previous hat or days, right? The six days leading up to this. So I'm not going to hatch any eggs. It's going to be super boring, super slow. Uh, but I'm going to go here, I'm going to click, click plus, I'm going to use one level 5 Kiwi Honeydew, get to level 12. I'm going to unlock a skill, or unlock both of these skills. It gives no discrimination for how many skills, or what level skill, or what special ant uh, you unlock to get points on a CA, right? It just says, use one spore, redeem one spore. And the thing we're taking advantage of is unlock one skill of any special ant. Right? Doesn't matter if it's a gold ant, which takes more. Doesn't matter if it's a blue ant. Doesn't matter what it is. It just matters that you unlock one skill. Then we uh, level this up to level 7. That's my personal preference. Uh, some people don't even use Kiwi on orange ants. Or, sorry, on blue ants. They send it out for one insect hit. That should be enough as a free-to-play player without having any bonus levels or anything like that. Uh, as you can tell, I don't have that pack because it shows up. If I were to click hatch, right, I don't have that pack. Um, 
So, anyways, after I get to level sevens, I go here. I redeem. I get 80% of the spores back, all of the honeydew. I get none of the experience I put into it, and I get a blue shell. So I'm going to do this for every or for every blue ant at period. I'm going to do this for every blue ant that I have in my inventory. I'm going to unlock these three skills. Um, you could, in theory, level it up to level... What is it? What's required? Level 20. It's not what I do. I'm just showing you literally what I do. Uh, and then level this up to level 7 again. As you can see, my colony action is over halfway done. Level this up to level 7 again. Level this one up to level 7 again. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to X this. Yes. Sweet. Because you get the redeem. So the reason that that's going up is you get the redeem spore points as well. So it, that this is such a busted thing to do. Uh, and as you can see, my colony action is almost done. Hey y'all, real quick, in editing, I realized it's two and a half special ants, not three and a half. Sorry, past me can't count. It's two and a half special ants that you do in order to finish a CA. Right, we're looking up here. Colony action's almost done, which is why I'm not unlocking skills. I'm trying to level up to level... Oh, and I'm done. So that's a CA. What was that like? Four blue ants uh, doing it this way. Again... Other people do it other ways. I'm sure there's a more efficient way. Like I said, you can send out for an insect and then you can, uh, they should be level 12. You can level them up that way. That way you're not using any kiwi honeydew and you can save it for emergencies. And then you go through and you level up that way. That is how other people do it. That is not how I do it. This is how I do it. This is the easiest way for me. I go through and I'll do this for, so that was four blue ants, right? Or, well, one in, or three and a half blue ants, right? So I'll go through and I'll do one, two, three, and then this one and part of this one. And I'll do one, two, three, and finish off this one. So that's the first three CAs done, having it hatched a single egg. Then, when I've done all of the blue ants and I've done all of the green ants, right? So I'll do all three skills for the green ants. I'll go to hatch. I'll hatch until I get a singular one one singular orange ant or blue ant or green ant and then i'll go do the spore trick on that too it's not fun it's not enjoyable it's super efficient it'll help you get first it'll help you level up if you have a hard time finishing cas if you have a hard time getting ninth chest uh in my opinion on hatch day there is no excuse to not receive ninth chest uh because of this trick Super easy, super simple. I hope it helps someone out. I know that that it can get frustrating. So hope that helps someone out. Hope that explains it to you guys. Um, if my video looks a little weird, just so you guys know, uh, one of my monitors broke. Uh, so I, we're down to a single monitor recording. Uh, I have a new one coming in the mail. Uh, it's very frustrating. So I'm trying my best. Uh, hopefully this works, but that's why there wasn't a video the last couple of days. Um, anyways, the reward for 2,300 subscribers will be drawn on the Friday video. So you guys still have a couple more days to enter it. We are close to 2,400 subscribers. So if we get to 2,400 subscribers before, uh, Friday, we will draw the 2,300 subscriber and do a giveaway code word. For my AFK Arena fans, we will be doing an AFK Arena video here soon. Uh, the last couple of days, again, have been hectic. We moved where my computer uh, lives because I got the green screen, and the green screen where my computer previously was was not working for our family. Uh, and in that process, we broke my other monitor because I'm a klutz uh, and was... I was doing more than I should have with having had my appendix removed. I was lifting more weight than I should have. I cramped up real bad. My monitor fell. It's okay. I'm a little bit upset about my, at myself about it, but it's okay. You know, things happen. We move on. Uh, yeah. Anyways, sorry for the ramble. That's just who I am. I hope this video helps someone. I hope, 
I would love for this discussion in the comment section to tell people how to do it the most optimal way. Hey, this is how I do it. This is how many spores. Stan 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 has a video in his YouTube that does it like I think the most optimal way. He calculates how many spores and how many how much experience, and he does it that way. Uh, again, this is just how I do it. I find it easy. It's three CAs that I get done a week uh, at no cost. And then after those three CAs, I can either, I can look at the scoreboard, right? And I can decide, okay, I'm just going to hatch 20 eggs uh, around and I'm just going to live my life and be happy. Or I can be like, I want to go for first. I'm going to do this slow, steady grind. Um, yeah. Anyways, you guys. I hope this helps. You guys can catch me in the YouTube comments. I think I'm being pretty active in it. Maybe I'm not. Uh, you can find me on Discord. Best place to find me. People talk to me all the time on there. If you DM me uh, and I don't get back to you, don't get upset. Not a good way to get me to respond to you. Uh, for the person that decided to yell at me for not responding fast enough, I'm not. I'm just not going to respond to you ever. I'm going to block you, right? Um... Sorry. And, and, or worst case scenario, as I always say, you can catch me on server 193. I'm really happy here. I enjoy this server a whole heck of a lot. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.